Here we're working on about taking back control of your putting and it's really about eliminating the yips. The yips come from a couple of sources. The first one being most people that have the yips are so involved in the outcome it raises their anxiety level. Now to help you get rid of that I've got a couple of tips. The first thing I'm going to say is we want to make sure that you get involved in this end. When I hit this putt you'll actually see that I've had that ball placed on top of a ball marker. Now the idea of that being I want to hit this putt and I want to see the marker before I ever look up. Too many players that hit poor short putts do it because as they're hitting the putt they're actually moving forward because they want to see where that out ball's going. That look at the outcome's a real problem. The other part of having the yips is about having too much involvement with the small muscles, making your hands do too much. You'll see here, what I'm doing, I'm actually setting myself so that my elbows are tied in against my body, and also to help lessen my grip pressure, I've actually got a fatter grip on my putter, and that's a real help. So in this case, I'm taking my setup, I've got my elbows in by my side, my arms aren't moving, it's actually the big muscles of the chest that are moving. When I can hit the putt, not using the small muscles, but making sure my chest is moving the putter, then I am definitely going to eliminate the yips. I'm sure that's going to help your golf.